Hello, and welcome to day 16 of March for Humanity. I am about two kilometers away from Opole, Lubieski. Uh, it's the best I can do. It is on the Vizla River, and I hope to arrive there in about an hour and find a room. But I stopped um, in this lovely spot to record today's episode, episode, I don't know, which is a, a bit curious. And I'm going to give you just a kind of a visual of the lovely um, surroundings. I've been walking all day past mostly forests and... Um, a few towns. I stopped about six kilometers ago and wrote this um, today's message. So now we'll sit down. There's a beautiful kind of... Pardon that interruption. I will try and get through this now. Um, it's a half poem, half story um, situation that just demanded uh, to be spoken about. And so it starts, when we're young, speed feels important, almost necessary. We are easily bored with slow, methodical situations, and it always feels like Christmas will never come. The school day will never end. Aging brings new perspectives. Deadlines approach way too fast. Your children grow up and move away like water running through your fingers. And often all you could ask for is a bit of time to sit down, catch your breath, and just have an opportunity to reflect. Because I live alone and have chosen a life where there are few obligations or demands upon my time, with the exception of olive gathering season, which is stressful and glorious. I have found abundant time to reflect. So one thing that I am learning to respect is the perspective, the persistence of thoughts, not entirely my own. When an image or situation persists in encroaching on my mental dialogue, I now try to give it some sort of attention. It's a kind of mental nudging that prompts one to call a friend or make a visit or buy extra cheese or pork chops. These actions always seem to connect bridges to be helpful in some fashion. So last night's dream persists today. Every kilometer I walk, some fragment comes back to me. I do not understand its significance, but its persistence persuades me to tell it to you all succinctly. There must be a message in it for someone. Here, in 160 words, is my dream. I am holding an infant. It is my child. Someone comments how he looks like my son but I have not birthed him. I am cradling him and walking, seeking a place to nurse him. But there are continuous disruptions. I must get up and move, which is disconcerting, especially since I have not given birth and I am absolutely certain I will have milk, but the conditions are not allowing me to relax. At some point, clutching him, Several times I'm afraid I've lost him. Not that I've dropped him, but he becomes weightless. At some point I have to leave through a window, but I have to lift it silently. I become more and more worried that he must receive some nutrition. At a point someone provides him some water through a straw, but this also worries me because if he doesn't suckle soon, he will not understand how to take milk from the breast. And I worry and worry and wake up. 
If this seems silly or pointless to you, I would request that like when I was a child and we had chain letters, um, let your mind go blank for a moment and see if someone pops into your head. If somebody does, please forward this link. I believe somebody or some buddies are meant to hear it. Thank you very much.